once again to my channel on comparing the Bungo Stray Dogs manga versus the anime. This is going to be chapters 36 through 40. I am Shelby Osamu and let's get started. The anime uh, Atagawa kicks Atsushi in the face and I love like the expression of Atsushi of just being like really right now and just the how he's sitting there. I'm like really? Is this <laughs> you know what you're doing right? And in the manga he actually kicks him on the back of his head instead of the face. I don't know why that little change, but I do find it funny because I do like the anime of just Atagawa just kicking him in the face. Like, I can't fight you right now because I'm at my limit, but I'm gonna kick you in the face at least. <laughs> Make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> so, I just, I need to process what I read. Everybody knows in the anime, after everything's done, Dazai shows up and um, the president arrives, and it's revealed that Kyoka is alive. She's okay. And Atagawa's like, what about me? You know, saying stuff to Dazai about asking him if he's strong. And Dazai touches his shoulder. He's like, you have become strong. And I love that moment because I feel like Atsu, it shows Atsu she's right when he said that you've been acknowledged by Atuga or Dazai a long time ago. He literally just acknowledged you. Like, he literally just told you that you're strong. And he falls over, I think, because of his maybe being touched by no longer humid. It made his body just fall backwards and faints. Or maybe he just doesn't remember it. But I love that scene. It's such a cute moment. I like Dazai kind of telling him and feeling the need to say, like, you have become strong. And I think it kind of shows the difference in the Port Mafia version of Dazai and the ADA version of him. But you're telling me that scene was added in the anime. The manga, it kind of implies that Dazai is going to touch his hand or touch his shoulder. You kind of see a panel, a small panel of his hand, like he's going to touch him. And then it doesn't happen because the other members of the ADA show up. And so you don't see it. I'm like, so you're telling me they added that? I, I kind of thought it was in the manga. I can't believe that added. I'm happy it was added because I love that little moment between the two of them. It's really cute. But it was added? <laughs> Well, Chuya can do anything and just be hot, right? We all know this. The panel of him going into Mori's office and having this bottle of wine and three glasses and walking in, he doesn't have to be so hot, but yet he is. And I'm not mad about it. Like, why didn't the anime do this part? When it reveals, like, this moment in the anime, he's already in the room. He's already standing there, do, like, getting the glasses already. And I'm like, we, we could have had this panel, of, or the scene of him walking in like that. You talk about making people just want to faint by this man. And you changed it. I, I just, I love this panel of Julia. Like, I, <laughs> this is like one of the few moments that I'm like, Chuya deserved this scene in the anime. All I'm saying. It was, I, God, it shouldn't have been there. It's a crime that it wasn't there. <laughs> Mori is saying how um, he's not going to punish Atagawa because whenever he does go off on his own, he at least always gets results and succeeds. So as long as he keeps doing that, there's not going to be punishment. And he starts asking, um, I don't remember how to say her name. Dazai calls her Big Sis in the manga, but I don't think we hear him that, call her that in the anime. But I forgot her name. I know it, but I can't pronounce it to save my life, but you all know who I'm talking about. Um, and it shows her, like him asking, like, you could have easily left the ADA if you wanted to. Like, it would have been easy for you. So why did you stay? And she kind of just basically says it was because Dazai had a agreement of saving her, of saving Kiyoka. And in the manga, Dazai explains kind of a little bit of her backstory of how she tried to leave the Port Mafia to be with somebody she cared for, and the previous boss had him killed. And so she always stayed in the Port Mafia. She hated it. But she's still there even now because Mori is now the boss of the Port Mafia. So she 
is staying mainly because of him. And she even says, like, I have to stay here because I have a clumsy boss that needs to keep his organization together. And the anime, I went back and watched so I could remember because I didn't remember. The anime skipped her little backstory moment there. She talks about Dazai, you know, having the plan to save Kyoka, but that that's it. He doesn't go into her story at all. And I thought that was interesting. I would have liked to know that. I didn't know that until now reading the manga. I was like, that would have been a cool thing as her character to know. And, but it's interesting to me that she stays because now Mori is the boss of the Port Mafia. So she's there because she does appreciate him and respects him at least. And I do like that part. I still don't know why that was at, not put into the anime. Maybe they just, they were just like, nah, we don't really need to have her backstory. She's, she's all right. So they just didn't add it. But I would have been, I would have liked to know. This stuff, the ADA has like a party for Kiyoka joining the armed detective agency. And it has Dazai at a like art museum with, um, mother fluff in i don't remember his name his like real name i just remember his like cover or name in the port mafia and it's a black lizard um so we're gonna call him black lizard because i don't remember his real name yeah is well they're looking at the painting that they're sitting in front of and in the anime he's just like i think i could do this painting like i can i can do this and then dazai and him start talking about um atagawa and atsushi but in the manga the black lizard starts explaining how dazai painted a self-portrait and had it put up in the mo in the port mafia and it scared elise to death she hated it and it has them just laughing about it like reminiscing over when dazai was there and i listen i need to see the self-portrait that dazai made more than anything I want to see it. I would love just to see a little flashback of him putting this painting up and have like Chuya being like, what the hell are you doing? And then Elise being terrified. <laughs> this would have been so funny animated. I wish it was. Just the thought of Dazai doing a self-portrait painting is hilarious. <laughs> and him, him laughing too was really cute. Anytime Dazai laughs, I, I didn't think it's cute. Manga <laughs> kind of has the moment of really meeting Theodore and him with um, Nathaniel. And it was a fine panel. I liked it. But when I went back to watch the anime, because I'm also re-watching re -watching the anime a little bit with the parts I want to talk about just to make sure I'm not missing anything or I say, oh, this wasn't there. And it was. Um, so I actually really like the anime's introduction to Theodore. I like the just a conversation he has with Nathaniel, the um, zoom outness of Theodore standing there, kind of, sh and then it showing uh, his ability as crime and punishment, and then it zooming a little bit into his face and stuff. And I was like, that, and I know that's something that the anime can do, but not the manga. But the manga, you kind of just see like a side thing of him, and then that's kind of it a little. So I really like the introduction to Theodore in the anime. And also, I, I have a love-hate relationship when it comes to Theodore. Leave my babies alone. But I love his damn accent. <laughs> After all of this stuff, the coffee place, or the coffee shop owner is attacked. And the ADA, I think it's Rampo, Dazai, Yosuno, Atsushi, and Tanizaki all go and take care of the people who attacked the coffee owner and when they arrive Kenji you know breaks down the door and they all like walk through it you know they're like how'd you get here and Dazai's like oh Rampo figured it out immediately and Rampo's really acting like he doesn't notice anything he's just standing there like this he's like whatever and but the manga has him when they walk through the hole he's turned back and looking at the hole that Kenji just did, like, holy shit. <laughs> like, did you just do that? Like, he's so shocked over the hole that Kenji did. And it reminded me of the manga as well when 
Dazai is taken by the port mafia and Chuya kicks the wall to take off his chains and Dazai is looking back at the hole like, Jesus Christ! Like, wow! And I like that both moments in the anime, they change it to where it's like, they know they're strong. Rampo knows how strong Kenji is, so he's like not really noticing it. He's like, whatever. I know how strong Kenji is. I knew he could do that. And then the same thing with Dazai with Chuya. He's like, I know how strong Chuya is. I'm not surprised that he just did that to the damn wall. So I like that the anime for both of these moments of having two characters surprised about something changed it to where they're not because technically they wouldn't be. But I did like the thought of Rompo just staring at the wall that Ken Kenji did like, Jesus. <laughs> My really main hype moments for Atsushi is when the guys are like, what about the body or the bodyguards that are in the hallway? Like, how did you get past them? And it shows them all just beat up on the ground and Atsushi standing there, you know, looking away from the camera and he like slightly turns half, you know, half layer tiger form. And I, that's like one of my few hyped up badass moments with Atsushi. I really love that moment. I think it kind of shows a little bit of his strength that he's developed but you really don't see the battle, but you just get like a glimpse of after. And the manga has it where it's not just Atsushi, it's also Kunikita that's with him. And it's not near as badass looking. And I just, I want to give a shout out to Bones because they gave Atsushi some love. I love the fact that they took out Kunikita and it's only Atsushi and having that badass moment because I think his character needed something like that and I loved it so shout out to Bones for giving Atsushi some love he deserved <laughs> the anime everybody knows that the there's investigation into a guy who was hit by a car and Atsushi and Tanizaki are the ones on the case and it's revealed to be the headmaster of the orphanage that Atsushi was in and it talks, the manga talks about him having this gun that didn't have serial numbers on it or anything. And he was possibly meeting somebody in the port mafia to maybe sell it or something. And the informant, to find out what he was trying to figure, like what he was doing there with the port mafia, is Atagawa. Azushi had to meet Atagawa in the manga to find out what actually happened like why was he meeting somebody in the port mafia and the anime just took that out i don't even think the port mafia is mentioned in this i don't think he has a gun when it's mentioned and even gives his it even gives his backstory like the headmaster's backstory in the manga but the anime doesn't do that at all and i thought that was really interesting when i saw atagawa in the manga i was like what this did not happen in um, the anime at all. And I still like the moments after all of this when Atsushi has realized he was there to see him. He had seen what all he was doing after leaving and seemed actually proud of him that he bought flowers for him. And, you know, he's kind of dealing with the fact of not understanding and questioning all of this stuff. And I like... I like Dazai being there for him and comforting him and I think showing Atsushi that, you know, he cared about him or he just didn't show it the right way. He wanted Atsushi to be who he is now and the, the things that he did to him, even though they were best and he could have done it differently, he did it to bring out the side of him that now we are seeing in the anime. And I... I like it because I think Atsushi looks at Dazai as like an older brother or goofy older brother. And, you know, I like when he's like, I don't know what emotion I'm supposed to have right now. Like, I don't, I don't know what face to make. I don't know if I should be sad. Should I be happy? And Dazai's like, I can't really tell you that. But what I do know is that people tend to cry when their fathers die. And that scene always hits me. And I love this moment between Atsushi and Dazai. A little bit is about um, the bomber guy who goes after Kunikita when he goes to the um, subway station. And before Kunikita leaves to go like do all this stuff on his schedule that he has to do, he's like, Dazai, don't mess with my schedule. 
Like, you're not messing it up today. Don't even try. And then there's, like, the scene of him being like, oh, I would never. I promise I won't do that. I love that scene so much. The man... The man shouldn't be hot, first of all, when he's not wearing his trench coat. I love when Dawes Eye wear tr- wears his trench coat. But when he's not wearing it, in a scene like that, I love. And the manga was fine. It was okay. I definitely prefer the anime anime version more than the manga. I also love that Dawes Eye would call Kunikita. That like, oh, you're the no- guy who draws, who makes your notebook is here in the office, Kunikita. Kunikita would be the person that would get all fanboyed over a guy who made a notebook. <laughs> like, I'm not even surprised by that. Love the scene when Kunikita is grabbing um, the little girl when the bomb goes off. And then it's revealed that they're actually alive because Yosuno showed up when she needed to. And... It's a really cool scene. I love it for Kunikita. But the manga. The manga panel of them two standing there and the look of Kunikita. It's like what Chuya's scene earlier with the glasses and walking in. He deserved that scene animated. This scene should have been more animated by the manga for Kunikita. The manga panel is so cool. It's so badass for him. And I still like it, even in the anime, but I just think it's way more sick and cooler in the manga. He knows during this stuff, Chuya is randomly at the subway station in the anime. When one of the bombs goes off, it sees him sitting there and he has like the hat on his face and he like lifts it up and goes, what the hell was that? And then when it's all said and done, he's upside down with his ability and checking on it and he's talking to Mori and he's like, Oh, some bomber has a grudge against the ADA. I would have rather him go after Dazai than Kunikita. But then again, the bomber wouldn't stand a chance against Dazai. And I love that those scenes too, because he's like complimenting Dazai, also dissing him at the same time. And I love the fact of Chuya just randomly being there. Because we all know Chuya is the character that can show up for 15 seconds and everybody's excited about it. So I'm not surprised that he's there. But again, you're telling me the anime added that. The manga Chuya isn't even there. The manga Chuya is nowhere to be found during these scenes. He's not there. So the anime was like, you know, the scenes are missing someone. I think, I think someone else needs to be here, but I can't put my finger on who. The man who shows up for 15 seconds. Add fucking Chuya. <laughs> Done. Makes the scene so much better when Chuya is there. I don't know why, but when I realized he was not there, I thought it was insane. I was like, why, why is he not there? Excuse me. Hello? That's it for chapters 35, no, 36 through 40. Um, this one had quite a good one, a lot to talk about. The anime actually has some of the stuff switched around. Um, so I had notes, but they got deleted. Um, so I had to go by the manga notes that I had written down. But the manga, it kind of, or the anime, it moves around some of the story, so they're not quite in order. But let me know what you guys think about these chapters. I'm a little, I'm happy and also upset with both at the same time after these because so many things was added or removed or switched around that I'm like, what is happening? Um, But let's see about the next chapters, and I'm so happy you were here. Believe it.